The specifications for room temperature are upper specification limit of 24 degrees Celsius, the lower specification of 20 degrees Celsius and the process has an average of 22 degrees Celsius and the standard deviation is 1 degree Celsius. What is the ZLT that is Z long term value? This is a very simple and straightforward question. In order to answer this question, you need to understand the properties of a normal distribution, which is that the normal distribution is symmetrical in nature and on either side of the mean, which is the center of the process, uh, you have the entire distribution and you would be able to account for it in terms of how much standard deviation it is away from the mean. And you should remember that if it is one standard deviation away from the mean, then that accounts for nearly 68.28% of the data. If it is two standard deviations, that is 95.45% of the data and three standard deviation is 99.73% of the data. So this is something that you should already know if you want to successfully answer this question. Now we will come back to the uh, problem and uh, I have the normal distribution as superimposed the USL and LSL which is 24 degrees and 20 degrees respectively. And now you would know that 22 minus 20 or 24 minus 22 is equal to two times of the standard deviation on either side, right? So one time of the standard deviation would be for example 23 and another standard deviation would be 24, right? So I can fit two times standard deviations on either side of 22. So in my process, 95.45% of the times, the temperature would be within the specification. So the remaining would be out of spec. So now that translates into what Z value that translate into a Z value of two, right? But that's the short term process capability. As you must already know that the long term process capability is 1.5 units less than that of the short term process capability. As the short term process capability as we just evaluated is going to be 2. So 2 minus 1.5 would be would be 0.5. So that is the right answer.